Good morning. Today is Sunday the 28th, and we're going to start with a daily reflection on the New Testament. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. John chapter 8, verse 51. Through Christ Jesus, we are spiritually reborn and enjoy fullness of life. He brings salvation and never-ending life to those who believe on, believe and follow him. Our Savior taught, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and is passed from death unto life. He promised further, Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. In this dispensation, the Lord told the prophet Joseph Smith, Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. From henceforth, when the Lord shall come, the old things shall pass away, and all things shall become new. They shall rise from the dead and shall not die after. The Lord's work and glory is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. He promises everlasting life to all who will hear the words of God and do them. Okay, so today is Luke chapter 21, and in this, it's more of the signs of the times. Um, he... First, he sees the widow casting in, casting in her two mites. Um, and then he talks about, uh, foretells the destruction of the temple and of Jerusalem. He tells of the signs to precede his second coming and gives the parable of the fig tree. So it's more of the same, which is typical of what we've already read. There were two verses that stuck out, that stuck out to me in my reading. The first one was verse 19 which says, in your patience, possess ye your souls. And like, it just, I had to sit with it for a minute. Like, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Um, Ludlow says that it could have been translated, uh, by your endurance, ye shall gain eternal life or something like that. What does he, what does he say? He says, this verse could have been more literally translated, by endurance on your part, you will acquire your souls. Um, I don't know. I think you could have like a couple meanings to this one. Uh, the first one is, if you endure well, you shall gain eternal life, which is the, the gist of the chapter. But if we apply it to our mortal existence, our day-to-day -day living, if we have patience, if we have control over ourselves, we will have possession over, I don't know, it's like, you'll have self-control, you'll have godly self-control. And isn't that, isn't that the goal? sort of, to have the self-control to overcome all temptation. If you practice patience, you'll have a little bit of that. That's what I'm taking from it. That's what I like. And then the other verse that stood out to me was verse 24, which says, Watch ye therefore... And pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of God. Um, so he talks about the pestilence and, you know, if you keep the commandments, you know, if you endure to the end. But what sticks out to me is the pray. Pray that you can do this. Ask Heavenly Father for help because otherwise you can't. You can't do it. Okay. There's no Jeffrey for today, so let's just see what Ludlow has to say. Um, we already did that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, verses 14 and 15. 
These verses could have been more literally translated. Therefore, settle in your hearts not to rehearse beforehand how to make your defense, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your opposers together will not be able to resist or dispute. Um, verse 34, this verse could have been more literally translated, but pay attention to yourselves that your hearts never become weighed down with overeating and heavy drinking and anxieties of life, and suddenly that day be instantly upon you. The word surfeiting has to do with intemperate eating and drinking, and the context indicates how unwise it is to place emphasis on carnal things rather than the spiritual things. The Joseph Smith translation di directs these instructions particularly to the disciples. Let my disciples therefore take heed to themselves, lest at any time their hearts be overweighed with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of, the, of this life, and that day come upon them unawares. That's interesting. Sometimes I do get a little preoccupied with eating. Not overeating, but eating. It's like, okay, what snacks am I going to have at work so that I can last? So that I don't get hangry? Um, or like, the family's going away for two weeks. Okay, how am I going to feed myself for two weeks? I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled. And so it's like, okay, what am I going to eat? And how... I can go to the store if I'm hungry. Like, anyways. Okay. For, oh, that's 22. I was like, oh, here's one for Bruce R. McConkey. Nope, that's for chapter 22. Okay, that's all for 21. Um, I'll leave you now with a prayer from a diary of prayer. My um, teaching companion texted me at midnight last night saying she's not going to be there and it's her week to teach. So I've got to prepare a lesson this morning before church. Okay. Today is the 28th. And this prayer is um, prayer to the Holy Trinity from the Sun Dances. <clears throat> I am bending my knee in the eye of the Father who created me, in the eye of the Son who purchased me, in the eye of the Spirit who cleansed me, in friendship and affection, through thine own atoned one, O God, bestow upon us fullness in our need, love towards God, the affection of God, the smile of God, the wisdom of God, the grace of God, the fear of God, and the will of God to do on the world of the three, to do on the world of the three, as angels and saints do in heaven, each shade and light, each day and night, each time in kindness, give thou us thy spirit. That one made no sense to me. Maybe it's because I don't understand the Holy Trinity. Anyways, all right, that was Luke chapter 21, and oh, let's see here. Next week, we do um, Learn of Me chapter 46, Matthew chapter 26, Learn of Me chapter 47, Mark chapter 14, and John chapter 13. So we've got two chapters in Learn of Me, one chapter in Matthew, one chapter in Mark, and one in John. And also next week is June. When did that happen? Okay. That's all for today. Have a great day. I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.